Good morning. It is a Wednesday. It's 5.39, just getting ready to leave. Today we're gonna go finish up a driveway that we started a couple days ago. We poured almost all of it yesterday, but I didn't have enough concrete ordered. I didn't have five trucks ordered. I only had four trucks ordered. So we stopped, I guess, at what I'll call the approach area. So this morning we're gonna go, we're gonna go pour that approach area and then I have some tops of work for us to do. So I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. Good, how much garbage do you make? The good news is you have plenty of house blend, but the bad news is I need some half and half. Are you looking for figs? Yeah, I got some if you want some. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't. <laughs> Hi, morning, Ms. Z. I saw it. You did? Uh -huh. All right. You do a lot, don't you? I sure do. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm pulling into the yard. It is 6.03, and I'm the first one here. Our tandem axle here yesterday broke. It's pouring out oil. Mike said he thought it was the air compressor. I'm not sure and it wouldn't start either so I think it needs a starter and it needs that oil leak fixed this is a good truck though this thing hasn't given me much trouble at all since I bought it several years ago the Mac on the other hand that thing is eating up I don't know how many rear ends and the transmission and it's just constant constant very expensive repairs Bugs is here Jade's here there she is there she is. She's looking for something to chew on and she found something already. Yep. She cleans up the yard in the morning, finds all the garbage. A lot of junk on this truck today. All right, truck's cleaned out. We're ready for another day. Who's calling me? Daryl. Daryl's calling me a better answer because if I call him back, he won't. Yeah, Daryl. No, that's okay. You don't have to come in. We're good. Yep, we're good. I gotta take my wife's minivan. I gotta grab somebody. Taking it in to Pewaukee, they're putting a hitch on it so I can tow my fishing boat up north. You gonna take both boats? Yeah. Nice. Of course. So I'm gonna take somebody. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back before concrete for sure. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have you come with me. Okay. Alright, I just gotta measure this up for concrete and we ran over here. But right next to Steve, how can he help you? I have an eight o'clock. Yeah. I need I just need nine yards. <laughs> You know what I say right now, Mike? Concrete's ordered. Concrete's ordered! <laughs> I never put my phone up there. I only throw it up there for the video. Oh. <laughs> All right, Mike and I just got gas. It's seven o'clock. We're gonna go take my wife's minivan, which I'm in right now, to get a trailer hitch installed. And then we're gonna meet the guys on the job. Concrete's at eight, so we got time. I gotta get a hitch installed on this minivan because this one's gonna tow my little fishing boat up north while my pickup truck tows the, the deck boat. Mike and I just pulled back on the job here. I'm sure the guys are really busy right now. You guys busy? Oh, really yeah. Busy. Really, really busy? I'm negotiating the business. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why are you late? What happened? I'm late. I had to go drop off the minivan. Seven, seven, <laughs> hey, stop. Nah, barking at that dude that's late, man. Yeah, she don't like people that are late. Uh, look at her, look at me. Uh, <laughs> I like when they tilt their head like that. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Friday, Bugs, you're going to have off Friday. We're going to go mowing with Mike. We're going to get... Yeah. No, Marcel's gonna be weed. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be weed whacking, so you better wear pants, dude. <laughs> or your legs are gonna be straight green like they always are. <laughs> yeah, that'll be you shorts, man. <laughs> <laughs> I always wore shorts. Yeah, I I I'm not in. I'm not into camping. I want to relax on vacation. Like I want a nice bed, air conditioning, yeah. internet, everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. I said to her, I said, it's not to sound rude or anything, but I said, I work too hard to sleep in a plastic bag on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> when I go on vacation, I want to have creature comfort. Yeah. Everybody's different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, two years ago when I went on vacation, the guy has a hammock outside. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know, we ate or whatever. I laid on the hammock and I, I was like, fall. It was, it was the most relaxed yeah. I've ever been in my life. So I was starting to fall asleep, you know? I was feeling so good, and then it starts raining. I was like, no! <laughs> Concrete's here! I'm nervous, this is a big one. Oh no, this is the new guy. This is the brand new guy. How's it going? Good, good to see you. How many other guys put all your shoots on for you? Tell me the truth. Uh, not many. <laughs> Got it. Well, they give the new drivers the old hoopy trucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just glad if they run. That looks good, man. That looks good to me. We need all of us in here. You know that. It's 14 feet, man. You know you need at least four parlors for 14 feet. <laughs> All right, concrete's all down. It was nine yards. Well, it was probably like eight and a half yards. I ordered nine yards. And it's gonna be a waiting game because this stuff's gonna sit for a while for sure. Nice and cool out this morning in the shade. Which got to go in, brother. Right all the way up to the corner. Well, like three inches back from the corner. Make sure it's a good inch and a half down. I got a pro. I got a problem. Autumn took all the batteries. Now I have no batteries when this one dies. Here, take this. Autumn. All right, I'll be right back. Hopefully, Autumn's got my batteries. All right. Autumn said they're all charged, so we're good now. All right, I am back. These guys are edging up. It's not hard yet? Is it ready for joints? Not even. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh yeah, it's ready for joints for sure. Don't get no dirt on this slab. I gotta seal it yet. So we'll pop these joints in quick and then wait some more. So I angled that one off. Some of you might wonder why I didn't just continue that joint straight through. The reason for that is concrete wants to crack and it wants to take the path of least resistance. It's kind of like electricity. If you were to take a tape measure and measure from here out to there, that's a longer distance than there. So it's gonna wanna crack right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put a seam there. My kids are gonna grow up having a lot more than I did growing up, but they're still all gonna know how to work. Ryan Jr. just texted me and he said, can you send me $4,200 with Apple Pay? Like, what? Like, who does he think that I am? What, just push a button? 4,000. Like, okay. 
All right. I think it's a joke though, let me see. Oh, he wants to buy a mountain bike for $4,000. Look at it. It's purple. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ride that thing. I pay you guys all the time to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, that's true. Thanks, Eric. I, yep, he only did the one side. Because I can't go another side. Maybe next week we can do the other side. We should take it to the uh, car wash. If we pull up in the car wash with that thing, they're gonna look at us. <laughs> we're, we're gonna put it in. We <laughs> gotta hook up wire wheels. Right. Just to get the one more on the tire. No, we're rolling it inside. Rips all the rollers off. <laughs> takes the cum longs off. <laughs> There's mirrors. Stars hanging. There's a whole mess. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> You pull out and the I'm big the big down brushy down. wheel thing <laughs> is it's, la it's laying in the bed it's laying sideways in the bed and all those little stringy things where you drive through it's all over the hood they're like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> like everything getting shut off <laughs> all the nozzles and everything are all over <laughs> yeah, that would be funny, dude. <laughs> that's something daryl would do concrete finally set up the guys are out finishing it still pretty wet believe it or not and it's been a while hey your hair what happened to your hair Oh, it fell out. Hey, look at him. Look at <laughs> Man, he didn't grease it or nothing today. Oh. Man. Oh. Daryl has grease if you need it. <laughs> he does. It's going to be like half hour before I can even broom it. Taking the forms off. I hadn't even broomed it yet. Hey, we're going to need some raking over here. Washing the forms, Mike? Okay. You want a scrub brush? Not good. <laughs> a wire wheel. <laughs> get them next time. Get them like brand new again. Sandblast the wood. No, the strike offs. Oh yeah. Those really nice. Some of them. Are a twenty good. footer weighs like six hundred pounds now. No, and then it just—I feel like it just tears it when you're striking it off. Yeah, I know. It does. The supervisor is happy. Are you happy with this job? I think she said yes. All right, well, this customer was really nice. His name is Paul, and uh, he hooked us up with the chairs, folding table, which is really cool. And uh, he gave us this folding table to use because we started this job on Monday when my mom came. It was best mom Monday. So we had room for all of her food, which is really nice. So there it is, the whole job. That was it, it was close to 50 yards. Look at Eric. Look at this. Look at this. Eric, were you just raking with one hand and holding your monster with the other? I've never seen anybody rake with one hand. <laughs> you know you're actually not doing anything, right? No. <laughs> Two hours later. I'll tell you a story real quick. So we caution taped the driveway just like this off. We poured it. It, was a, it wasn't this big. It was like a 20 yard driveway, whatever. But it went out to the road just like this. And we put caution tape beautifully just like this. Well, I get a call after we leave the job from one of the neighbors who knew me uh, about an hour and a half later. And they said that somebody drove on the driveway. Somebody drove right through the caution tape like it was the finish line in a marathon and drove their car about 15 feet up the driveway, spun the tires, the front tires, and then backed out and went in a different direction. Well, I came back to the job and the concrete had already been sealed and it was hard. Like it was hard and all my guys were gone. 
they had all gone home for the day. So there I was with water scrubbing tire marks out of the driveway. I didn't video back then, but that would have been interesting. Once you caution tape it off, there's really nothing you can do. Some people literally just don't have a brain or it's not functioning. Oh, well, you look like a boss now. You're working on the schedule? Nothing right now, yeah. I can't believe he calls his dog turd. <laughs> you ever heard anybody call their dog no. turd? I don't even know what they mean. He starts with turd and it gets worse as he gets mad at the dog. <laughs> he calls Daryl too, like all these bunch of names. Oh yeah. What it, what the more it? mad he gets, the worse yeah. the names get too. What, what, what did he call them? I think he said he was ready to kick him. Well, he oh, he was going to, yeah, he almost He's kicked like, Daryl oh. yesterday. I'm just waiting. Oh. I'm waiting though. <laughs> <laughs> he was oh. like that last week. Oh. When, <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> <laughs> he was like that. I didn't get that on camera though. Like, <laughs> Daryl was loosening his jaw because he thought <laughs> he thought it was coming. Because you know, one of these days is gonna be. He even, he even took, he even took it oh no, he kept his teeth in because you know we want to see them things go flying one of these days. Oh, perfect. I'm legally flying. I can see that. Well, gentlemen, it was good having you. Thanks for all the hard work. Well, thank you. Thank you for the work. We appreciate it. That was a bad time to be buying anything, it seems, but. Uh, I wasn't thinking that in March or whatever. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. It's not too bad, right? Not yet. I mean, I think we're heading downhill. We're just not there yet. There were known as a victory crew. Oh. Well, oh, yeah. If we got to go to, <laughs> if we got to switch our business to bank robbery next year, you know it's bad. You know it's yeah. Bad. <laughs> the thing is that nobody will recognize us, though, you know. Like, isn't that Eric? It's Eric! Look at his Francisco! It's Ryan too. You still got the victory hats on? Let's go, let's go, let's go! I told you, just take the head off. Hey, but all the cops know us. They're all like this. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, that's... Bro, you'll pay back? Yeah! We got you later when business picks up. It's just a loan. All right, well, thank you for the work. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Good work with you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Another happy customer. In the victory books. Hey, like, like ten cars, cars right? Ten cars, easy. Ten, oh, more than ten so cars, dude. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Way more than ten cars on here. If you park on an angle, you could get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight cars this way, and then you could park them side by side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whole car lot. <laughs> Sixteen. You could fit eighteen cars on this driveway. Eighteen. Crazy, if you had a if you had a driveway oh, yeah. like this, if you were right by State Fair during the during oh, State Fair Park, dude, oh loaded. Dude. My wife was like, "You Walking. think they're gonna sell those Walking. those houses? They're never gonna sell those houses." <laughs> the people, I wouldn't. I even invest in putting my driveway bigger. Right? Yeah, exactly. With lines and everything. <laughs> Hey, yeah, for the parking. <laughs> the <are> really nice. <laughs> With the lines. We got gas. Handicap. <laughs> yeah, handicap parking. Veteran only parking. Yeah, hey, we got gas too. We got gas. Everything. You can do car washes, details yeah. while they're in safe fare. What's up, Junior? All right, I just pulled up on a job. I, I forgot seed. I ran back to the yard. It didn't take me but a little bit of time. And these guys are already here. Topsoil's here. And they are moving right along. Man, guys are on fire today. All right. Look at the landscape crew. Look at it. He's even got the t-shirt like a landscape crew. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread some seed here. We're getting pretty close to the best time of year to seed. It's a little bit early, but it's just about ideal. If she waters this, it'll grow in beautifully. Yeah, the neighbor planted that sod. It's already established, but he put the sod in whenever. And when we were working here, he came out and he was like, don't walk on my sod. I just planted my sod. So 
We're definitely not gonna drive the buggy on the sod. We're gonna wheelbarrow it up the driveway. We're almost done, why get yelled at now? That's one nice thing about having bugs around and he's, he's a pace setter. And what I mean by that is if he's on a job and I'm not there, he's gonna work. He's not gonna be taking any breaks. Hey, this is all low. This is an inch low here. It's all low. You don't see that, Eric? It's just like concrete, bro. You gotta get that up to the edge. This is pen mulch. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of this. I'm not gonna give her a lot of this, but I'll put a little bit in here. So once I got it like that, I'll take a push broom and I'll just drag it across. Just to kind of sort of bury that seed a little bit, cover it up, get it in the ground just a touch. Huh? Dump it. That was five? There, that wasn't five yards. That was what they told me. I looked a little short myself. There's no way that was five yards. No, that was like three and a half. That's crazy. Yeah, you'll probably use it all. That's one thing about buying topsoil. Let me know what you think in the comments, but when we go to these topsoil places, sometimes I'll get five yards or 10 yards. And a lot of times it's with mulch too. When you're buying bark mulch, you'll order so many yards and they'll be way, way short. It happens all the time. I remember my church one year, they ordered like, I don't know, whatever it was, 10, 12 yards of mulch. I went and looked at the pile because they called me and asked me and there was like maybe five yards there. They just assume everybody's dumb and they don't know what a yard looks like. It's disappointing and it could be purposeful. It just could be, they don't know how to use the loader bucket properly or whatever, but it is what it is. It happens all the time. Imagine if we would or, or, only order three yards. Yeah. It would have been like two wheelbarrows. No kidding. <laughs> right? I know, because well, your average loader bucket's three yards. Yeah. Well, he took a scoop, yeah. dumped it in, and he went and grabbed another one, but I mean, it was barely, hardly anything barely in there. anything. I hate that, man. Yeah, they, they Sometimes when I get mulch and stuff, they, they do the same you. thing. Yeah. It's 15 yards, you look at the pile, there's 10 yards yeah, there. Yeah, like, it's like my dump truck. I know it's a five yard dump. Yeah. Why, why am I below the boards? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> At all? Yeah. You go to Schmitz and it's over the boards. Right, <laughs> exactly. Super small. About three. Yeah, I know. Hey, what were your hours? I need your hours. I told you guys oh, that. Yeah. Wow. 82. 82. <laughs> I think I had 105. Yeah. <laughs> we're almost done. It took us like, I don't know probably 30 35 minutes or so this is one of those little punch list things that gets on your nerves and you just got to knock it out at some point and today was the day whenever i go on vacation i want to have all my punch list stuff done so i can genuinely just go and relax i can't even explain to you how excited i am for our vacation it's gonna be awesome now that we have a boat a real boat i just love putting a smile on people's faces making memories with the kids and my son will be back my oldest son my 20 year old i bought him a uh, a wakeboard and water skis i'm not getting on those things but he likes to snowboard so i figured a wakeboard might be right up his alley if he can get up on it i think he'll have a lot of fun i used to snowboard too when i was a teenager but i would not try it now that's for sure we're almost done, just gotta finish up this last six feet here. And then we got about 15 feet right there by that pillar and then we're done. Victor, this is Ryan. I have another guy that works for me that does 
smaller jobs, I'm sure he could probably get you a better price than that. Uh, he does it on the side. Uh, if you're interested, I can get you his number. You taking over, Mike, of the operation? Man, I'm on the phone for two seconds and look at you. Trying to keep things going. Man. I don't know where that attitude comes from. That's unusual around here, Mike. <laughs> earlier this year yep. a bunch of grass seed blah, blah 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 they asked me if i had a warranty on anything like that a warranty on grass seed yeah oh come on I was like no i i said i'll give you guys 15 days you know just out of the kindness of my heart yeah yeah well uh 15 days comes up they call me they're like hey half the yard's not growing oh I, no I, I said, way in 15 days yeah, it I, doesn't even germinate yeah. for 14 minimum <laughs> yeah so i was like all right, well, I told you guys 15 days I'd come out there. Yeah. Well, I get out there, there's deer tracks in the whole backyard. Oh, They're yeah. They're pecking away at Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, you must be a lover. I don't know if you knew this, but you got like a perfect, look, you got a perfect heart shape. <laughs> Did you see that? No. <laughs> yeah. We are done with the seed. Pretty much done with the job. Bugs is putting all the rocks back the way they were. And now she tells me, she's like, you look big. <laughs> Compared to how we met you? Yeah. You so we were just talking about what we all weigh. And Francisco said, how much you think I weigh? Don't be trying to suck it in now. <laughs> Let's see what you got. All right, turn to the front. <laughs> dude, that's the back, dude. Nobody wants to see your booty. Turn back around the other way. How much you think Francisco weighs? First person to guess your weight right on the head gets a free hat sent out. Yep. Leave your guess in the comment section. The first person to guess it. Come on, Should I do Eric too? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do Eric too. Let me see, Eric, I gotta do the poke test. Turn to the side. Come on, come on. Definitely got a bubble going. Hey, hey, <laughs> let's do mine and his at the same time. Oh, yeah, let's see. Hey. Eric, no, you gone, Eric. It's it's pretty much equal, dude. No way. <laughs> it's equal. equal. Yeah, it's equal. All right, first person to guess your weight, and the first person to guess your weight, right on. Right. Free hat. Yeah. All right, we are all done. We finished up the topsoil. Very spiffy. We're done for today. You want to borrow right now? No, I'm Friday by Friday. Why? We'll see why. So you won't even tell me, and you're bar I'm borrowing you. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, it's like you pay me my money to rent the skid steer one day and then the next day you want it all back. Right. Man. That's how business is. <laughs> oh, you're just saying it's cash flow. Right? Wow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Oh, oh with all the cash. <laughs> okay. Yo, Sinti. Yeah, yeah. Buck said I can't wait for tomorrow. I can't wait either. Come on, be honest. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Yo, everybody. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right. They're not borrowing my Mustang for the weekend. Not a chance.